and we are back again today with another ev market update specifically today talking about xping and why it might be a good time to actually buy into them despite their recent losses nicola why they're up a tremendous amount today despite all the bad news they've been having and a little story from volkswagen how they could possibly be bringing a little r2d2 charging station to a parking garage near you so this is the stuff you want to be listening to this is what interests you by all means drop a like hit the subscribe let's get into this first off xping if you don't know chinese automaker specifically ev they've been unfortunately going through some losses recently right? look over the past three months they're up over 100 percent past month though down over 36 percent. so why is this well there's actually multiple reasons and it's not specifically just because of them but there are other rules and regulations going on around them first off if you don't know the sec is actually cracking down on foreign companies that do not adhere to certain financial regulations that u.s based companies have to adhere to u.s companies have to go through financial audits from the sec to make sure that the numbers that they are producing are real they have to go through audits they have to make sure that there's no fluffing of the numbers because we've seen this in the history when these companies are not held accountable they will fake numbers to boost stock prices and it causes it causes people investors to lose a lot of money when the truth comes out now i'm not saying that i think xpeng is a company that's faking numbers but they do have to produce or provide their numbers and information to the sec to comply with this and we've seen over the past year look at coffee they had a problem with this and because of that investors lost a lot of money and so that is a skeptical thing that's happening and it's not just with xpeng again there's alibaba there's neo these companies have to produce the numbers that they're saying they are to the sec or else they're going to face tremendous scrutiny so that's one reason why the stock is down another reason is just the fact that of the whole pandemic people are not buying as many vehicles and the other thing personally that i don't like about xpeng is that you already have big name players in this space you already have tesla that dominates the american market you have neo that's dominating the chinese market so where's xping you know xping's kind of the i would say you know kind of the rebound <laughs> they're kind of they're not really up to par yet with these companies that doesn't mean they're going to fail it doesn't mean they're a bad company they just don't have the valuation the start the name that these companies have but it doesn't mean they're doing bad if you look at the facts behind them in november delivered over 4,000 vehicles over a 300 percent increase year over year and it delivered over 21,000 vehicles over the year to date of 2020 it's an 80 percent jump year over year so they've definitely been growing and they've been getting more and more customers however it's not quite as much as neo neo if we look has delivered over thirty six thousand vehicles so they have a bit of competition not a bit they have a lot of competition but with this dip it could be a good time to buy i mean if we look obviously it had exponential growth of course it's going to sell off and i think people bought into the hype this is all hype and now they're selling off they made their profits and now we're going to start to come to a flat line where we're going to find the actual valuation of the company now they have been trading at a really high price but it doesn't mean that they don't have room to grow at only 38 dollars now obviously there's a market value i understand that but i think a lot of newbie investors look purely at the price they don't look at the actual market cap of a company and they're going to see a company like tesla who is in the hundreds and they're going to think oh this is great i think that's why <laughs> you originally had this there's a lot of newbie investors um so it'll be it could be a good time to buy in personally i mm, i'm still skeptical but there are multiple analysts uh, from multiple news sources that are saying that it's actually a good time to buy i'm not saying yay or nay i'm just letting you know by all means if you have a different opinion whatever you want to say let me know in the comments because i'm actually curious about what other people think about this next up we have nikola now if you haven't seen in my previous videos i've talked a good bit about nikola and they've been a f failing i hate to say it, but a failing company now if you don't know about nikola this is a company that was gonna be 
I think they wanted to be like a brother company to Tesla, which Tesla had no interest in, Nikola Tesla. Nikola wanted to produce primarily large trucks, 18-wheelers. Um, they had no interest in sedan commuter-type vehicles. So Nikola started off the year really good. They were producing different concepts. They had the 18-wheeler uh, tray. If you don't know what the tray is, the tray is this bad boy right here. They had their Badger. The Badger is their pickup truck. These are all great concepts. People really bought into them. And unfortunately, they haven't been able to deliver. So why is that? Well, if we look at what they've been doing, they lost a recent contract with public resources to have their... They were going to make their dump trucks. They were going to make their trash receptacle vehicles. They lost that contract. They lost another contract with General Motors. General Motors was going to be working with them on manufacturing, and they lost that as well. However, that doesn't mean all is lost. Um, top analysts from JP Morgan have been saying that they do believe that 2021 could be a positive year. They think there's going to be a lot less drama. They think the company is going to be giving a lot less uh, I guess you'd say fake news off the company. They're going to be given a lot more uh, actual product. Now, the tray remains on schedule to hit the market by the end of next year, and the company anticipates to have at least nine trucks for testing by the end of first quarter 2021. So what does that mean? It means that they're going to actually have a product for once instead of just hype. And if they can find customers to purchase into those products, then we're going to see a an increase in the valuation of the company but until then they don't really have a reason to you know they, they don't have anything that doesn't mean that they can't increase in value it doesn't mean that's a bad buy it just means that you need to do diligence look into this company look into what are they really doing do they have customers do they have people who plan to be their customers people who plan to be their customers and vendors have clearly left partnerships with the companies now that may be a mutual thing it may not just be the the company they're trying to do business with wants to leave it could be nicola as well leaves that business deal because it's not good for them and i think over the course of the first half of 2021 we're going to see nicola produce hopefully viable product and then the second half of 2021 we can see actual customers come in doing better business with them do i think nicola is a good buy again i'm not a fortune teller i'm not your stock picker i'm just here to just kind of give you some news opinionated um you have to do your own diligence on this stuff let me know in the comments do you think it's a good buy i personally still skeptical of them let me know though and the last one which i want to talk about which i just found interesting volkswagen is producing now little ev robots that will actually go and charge your vehicle in parking garage stations now this is great because parking garages aren't going to have to change their infrastructure in order to implement these all it is is this little robot right here it has a power bank fully charged power bank so when it's not in use it can go to this to soak up power if someone comes in with an ev they can go up to this little robot give it the instructions to go to that vehicle it will then go and charge it while you're not there once your vehicle is fully charged they will go back to its power bank simple as that now volkswagen already has these in prototypes they're already prototyping these vehicles to bring them out now, they'd probably most likely start in Germany, and well, not in Germany, Europe, um, if they are implemented. But I just found this to be a really cool concept, you know, because a lot of people, that's one of the biggest struggles right now with the EVs is how to charge them. Because with automotive, typical gas engines, we have gas stations everywhere, but with the EV, it's a lot different. We don't have that anywhere. So now imagine this. Now, instead of having to go pump gas or having to charge your car, you can go about your day, and this little robot's going to charge it for you. You don't have to do anything. That's more convenient than going to the gas station. It's more convenient than plugging your car in overnight or even at a speed charger for 30 minutes. You have this to do it for you. So I think Volkswagen, by doing this, they're really going to change the game for EVs, really make it a lot more accessible for people and more desirable for people to want to buy an EV because now they can actually charge it. Well, that's really all I want to talk about in this market update. I'm going to be bringing another story later today. So, again, if this is the type of stuff you want to hear, by all means, drop a like, hit the subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. Have a good one.